Welcome back, physics fans, and here's another one. This is called the Atwood's machine. Atwood's machine, it's uh, two masses over top of a pulley. Okay, and what's the purpose of the pulley? The purpose of the pulley is to redirect the rope, that's all. Okay, it's a massless physics, a massless, frictionless, physicsless, frictionless pulley. Okay, so we don't have to worry about the mass of that and trying to get it to spin and everything like that. So the tension in the rope here is the same as the tension in the rope there. It just redirects it. Okay, and this is uh, a good machine. In like about uh, 300 years ago, 200 and something years ago, this gent named Atwood designed this to uh, make accurate mechanic measurements of acceleration because at that time of course you didn't want things to move very fast because of lots of friction so they were trying to measure gravitational field strength and get it to a couple sig figs and stuff like that here we go so where are these used well they're definitely used in elevators okay because there's a counterweight at the bottom and it's slung over top of a machine that uh, holds onto the elevator and it goes the weights of the elevator and you try to balance the weights a little bit so that this little roller at the top doesn't actually have to support the whole mass on one side if you had a machine trying to pull up a big mass it's got to pull and it's got to make that engine really turn to lift itself up and that takes a lot of effort if you had a counterbalance on the other side then the force wouldn't have to be as much to change the direction. And other things that use it besides elevators, the funicular, the cable railway, one goes down the road, uh, down the railroad and the other one comes back up and that's kind of over the top of a pulley system. Ski lifts, gondolas, right? As one goes up, one goes down, so it balances it. So let's go ahead and understand the physics of this. Okay, we draw a couple free body diagrams. They're going to look very similar. Okay, so there's a mass. The tension is pulling up on M1. And there's a force of gravity pulling down. This one has a mass. There's a tension pulling up. And there's a force of gravity pulling down. Okay, so they do look identical. But there's a difference. If M2 is 11 kilograms, so the force of gravity on this is mg, and that's going to be 11 times 9.8, okay? And let's just pull up Mr. Calculator and go 11 times 9.8, 107.8. That's the force that gravity is pulling down on that guy, and over here, this one, M1, is only nine kilograms times 9.8 newtons per kilogram and that's going to be 88.2 newtons and that's down okay so there's two different forces pulling on this so-called wheel here and if you can't picture it this way because the pulley is disturbing you then don't draw the pulley draw it as 107.8 pulling this way and 88.2 pulling this way and there's two masses and this is 9 kilograms and that's 11 kilograms so there's two people pulling on it and, these, and the total mass of the system is 20 so you could look at it that way I'm not going to do that we're going to start with the system here Okay, the mass of the system is 20 kilograms. We're going to add up all the forces acting on the system. Now, these are the external, for, external forces acting on the system. Some of the forces is equal to F net, which equals MA. Okay, so that's the force of gravity of number two, because it's winning. Subtract the force of gravity of number one. It's losing. And that's the mass of the system times the acceleration. Okay, this is the rule that we're using, Newton's law. And this is the necessary equation that we fill in from the situation that we have, which is Atwood's machine. The force of gravity on one pulling against the force of gravity on the other. 
you have to determine which one's winning. So this is a uh, 107.8 newtons. Subtract 88.2 newtons, and that's moving 20 kilograms. So we can now determine the acceleration. This becomes 19.6 newtons, and it's 20 kilograms a. So the acceleration is going to be 19.6 over 20, which is 0 0.98 zero meters per second squared. So that's going to be the acceleration. There we go, I highlighted it in a box. Okay, now we want to find the tension. Okay, because it says so, try to find the tension here. So, there's two ways to find the tension. We can look at this one, which is accelerating up, or look at this one, which is accelerating down. Okay, I'm going to do M1 over here. And the sum of the forces is equal to F net equals MA, and that's just on M1. So M1 is going up, so the tension here, the tension is winning. So tension minus the force of gravity of number 1 is equal to M of number 1 times the acceleration, because we're working on number 1. So tension... Minus 88.2 is equal to the mass, and the mass is 9 kilograms, and the acceleration is 0 0.98. So tension is going to equal 88.2 plus 9 times 0.98. So this is going to be 97.02 newtons, and that's the tension force in that rope. That's done. We've solved the system, but let's do that check. The check is doing the solution on the second one, on the other free body diagram. This is the free body diagram for M2. Okay, so we're going to work on M2. The sum of the forces is equal to F net equals ma so this time the force of gravity is winning so that's how it's different even though they're drawn the same this one is winning so we have to go force of gravity of number two minus the tension is equal to m of number two times the a we know all these numbers so let's just see if it works out okay so 107.8 Minus the tension, which we have is 97.02, is equal to the mass, that's 11 kilograms, and the acceleration is 0 0.98. Okay, so I'll figure out both sides. 11 times 0 0.98, this is... 10.78, and hopefully the other side is 10.78, and then it all checks out. So we now take uh, 107.8, subtract 97.02, and it's 10.78. 10.78, it checks off. We draw our little happy face, and oh yeah, that was a lot of work. We had th to solve three things. Besides drawing the free body diagrams and masses, we had to use Newton's law once here, twice, and three times. The third time was for a check, but it's great to do the check, then you know you're good. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, smash that like button. All right.